But do you need some Apex class to run once a week or every day or once a month? Salesforce allows us to do it and there are five steps to accomplish it. Let's look at it. First thing that we have to write the Apex class that we want to schedule. Second thing we have to do is write a second class that implements schedulable. The third thing we do is that in the second class, we need to include the global execute method, which instantiates the class. The fourth step is in setup, search for Apex classes, then click schedule Apex and fill out the details. These are the five steps to schedule an Apex job. This is just a theory. Let's look at an example right now. So I'm in developer console. So here are the five steps. I have a class that sends out a payment reminder to my tenants and I keep track of my tenants in the opportunity records. If today's date matches the rent due date on the opportunity, I send them an email. I would like this class to run every day. So I've completed step one. In step two, we implement the schedulable. In step three, we include the global execute method with a schedulable context. Global execute method will instantiate the Apex class and indicate the method in the class that we want to see scheduled. We've completed three steps. Now let's go to the fourth step. Classes, here you see the button schedule Apex, payment reminder. This is the class that implements the schedulable and has the global execute method. I pick it and I indicate how often I want to run it. I want my payment reminder running every day because some people have moved in on the first, some people on the third, some. I indicated that I want it run every day from Sunday to Saturday and it starts today. Let's see it go for a year. I would like it to run at 7 a.m. Once my tenants wake up, they see my email and they make a payment. So I click save. Now we have a scheduled in Apex class. So let's look at it. We can see what classes are scheduled by going to schedule jobs and set up. Here is our job name, payment reminder. And if we click manage, we can see the name of the job, the class it's using and how often it's happening. We can make changes here, but we cannot save it. So the only way to make changes is to delete it and create a new scheduled Apex. Okay, couple of words. Scheduled jobs only run in an hour interval. So right now it's 11.03. So if I want to see this happen in real time, the Apex job i have to wait another 57 minutes that's a long time to wait if you want to run a test we can take lines five and six here and we can run click execute right and here is the email um, all right the email is coming from the landlord i'm see i'm see i'm the tenant it's just a small reminder that you rent is due today so every time a tenant's rent is due they will get such an email so just to remind you here are the five steps to schedule an Apex job. First, write an Apex class that we want to schedule. In our case, it's a class that sends out a payment reminder. Write a second class that implements schedulable. In that second class, include the global execute method where you instantiate the class in step one and indicate the method you want to schedule. Fourth, in setup search for Apex class, click schedule Apex and then fill out the details where you indicate which schedulable class you want to run, at what time, on what days. Until when? If you have any questions, please let me know. I would be happy to address them.